Hey fellow Star Wars action figure collectors and fans, it's Jedi Mike, and I'm here to share with all of you my latest and pretty greatest um, Facebook Marketplace haul. So someone posted these and I got them for a really sweet deal. So about $4 a figure. So here we go. So I got one of these Insta crates um, from Costco and uh, it's pretty cool because they do fold, but of course that's not the, the, the uh, most important thing in the video, but it's just came, it just comes in handy when you're transporting stuff. So if you didn't know, Costco sells these Insta crates, get them really good deal. And uh, they work great for whatever, if it's collectibles, toys, groceries, you name it. So anyway, all right. So I just threw in this Darth Vader lava reflection. I have two of these. So this one, I'll probably have to, I'm going to open this one, car backs bent. So I just thought it'd be cool to include, but this wasn't part of it. But let's start. So most of these figures are Revenge of the Sith. And uh, what really got me excited, of course, was particularly this Anakin that changes to Darth Vader. Never owned this one, and I always thought it was pretty cool. I always enjoy the uh, Anakin to Vader. And of course, you know, all know I'm a huge Darth Vader fan, so uh, any variation. I really like the, the way this helmet is sculpted, so very cool. And these are all still sealed, brand new, in the package. So, episode three. So there's about 24 figures, and a few doubles, particularly of um, Jedi. So, Luminar Unduli. Got Ayla Secura. So I've got double this one, she's looking straight ahead. The other one, she's kind of looking off to the side, and her eyes kind of look a bit different, actually. The Jedi Knight, Ayla Secura. Sacy Tin, so another double. I have two of, of, of these, so. But, and I wasn't even planning to buy all of them. I was just planning to buy like five or six. So, particularly Anakin that changes to Vader, and then of course this Palpatine with lightsaber attack. Red lightsaber. It looks like Anakin saber. That they. I always thought that was odd that they use Anakin saber for that molding. And I know there is a variant of this figure uh, with the deformed Palpatine head. Or I, unless that never came to be, there it is in the back of the card back. But yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Great wave of figures. Lots of different figures. Got General Grievous ex exploding body. So he's got his cloak cape right there. And then his body explodes. A lot of the figures had features, had action features. And of course got uh, Royal Guard. So there came in two variants. So the Blue Senate Guard and then the Red uh, Imperial Guard, which I also got. So there you go. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, again, I wasn't planning on getting all of them. But I couldn't pass up the sweet deal that... I got to work out with the guy who was selling him, who's also named Mike. <laughs> so Governor Tarkin. And of course, uh, Magna Guard, Grievous's bodyguard, aka Magna Guards. And the Electro Staff, again, another Ala Secura. Uh, this one, I think, is the one that's looking ahead. The other one is looking. Her head is tilted a bit. It's another CC Tin. And another Luminara Unduli, Jedi Master. Really love the packaging for Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And again, a wide variety of figures. <laughs> the good old days. ATRT Driver. Missile Firing Blaster. So if it, the figure didn't have a cool gimmick or a gimmick, um, they had action features as far as the weapons. And of course, a clone pilot right there. Though his lens isn't as clear as... It is in the picture, firing cannon. And then we also got a Paulus Masson medic, and some of them even included bases, so that's pretty cool. This is one of the uh, highlights, of course, a clone commander, which I believe I already have, but again, to have another one, pretty cool. And uh, they had, I think, yeah, they had the, this red variant and then a green variant, which I think I also got. So, pretty awesome. And then I also got the chopper droid, Vader's medical droid, which is, I believe, repacked in a box set, which I already have. And then again, there's the uh, action figure stand base with some Mustafar lava. And of course, the uh, Mustafar sentry. So some of these figures I don't have. Some of these figures I already do. But the fact that they're, you know, energy, uh, spinning energy bolts. This one I definitely don't have. So with the Paulus Masson. That's it for the episode. That's it for the episode three figures. Um, 
episode one, Darth Maul. So many good memories trying to hunt that down, especially in the Philippines. I had to have one on reserve, put one on reserve, Darth Sidious, of course. And then got some Saga figures here. Danik Jericho, which I definitely don't have. So this is a first. And it's kind of weird that he has his like whiskers there, but then here on the picture, there's not, it's not there. So that's kind of odd. And even here in the screenshot, he doesn't even have it. So I thought that was odd, but pretty cool. Cantina patron. And then another Cantina patron, Mayo. I don't even remember this guy. Cantina encounter, but there he is. And then of course some other figures in the wave. And this one was a must as well. Um, Kren Blistevani, Imperial Dignitary. So I believe I just need the other one. Palpatine's crew. Janus Grigatus. <laughs> really interesting names. Uh, yeah, I definitely need him. So I can join Pal Palpy's posse. Palpatine's posse in Return of the Jedi, of course. And this one is really cool. General Dodona. Jan Dodona. I definitely don't have him yet, and I thought it was interesting that they included three medals, because of course we know Luke and Han got one, and I believe the other one was meant to be for Chewie. So, pretty cool, but yeah, there you go, those are the figures. So about 25 figures, and then of course I asked him if he could throw in this die-cast metal keychain, Boba Fett, for free, and he did. Um, he did have a Vader, which I would have absolutely loved, um, but he sold that one on eBay thinking of opening this one and putting in my keys or maybe just keeping it Look at that Kmart two dollars 69 cents cents so and there's some other die cast metal keychain as well in the wave so anyway that's pretty much it just wanted to share that um really sweet deal on Facebook marketplace uh really ecstatic of course with the Revenge of the Sith figures uh these take me back to those good old days of just you know, you've got a Jedi, you've got main characters, you've got supporting characters, you've got some clones, and then of course you've got characters that appeared for like three seconds in the movie. Um, so, and then you've got characters, of course, like Joe Grievous and his Magna Guard, that's pretty sweet. I mean, really, really cool. So, $4 a figure. So, I roughly spent about 100 bucks on these when um, initially, it was eight dollars a figure and i would have spent 200 but the fact that i got them for four, four bucks each uh a really good deal and the fact that i don't have most of these figures some i already do like i mentioned but some a bunch of them i don't so and i'm uh, really excited to add more to the vader collection as well it even comes with anakin and of course darth vader's lightsaber so i'm definitely gonna have to unbox and review this and you can change his um arms he's got shin guards you can take off his jedi cloak Pretty cool. And uh, again, I love me some Vader, so this was a must. So there you go. There's some other figures in the wave of the deluxe figures. That's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, Facebook Marketplace haul that I wanted to share with all of you. Make sure to check out your local Facebook Marketplace. You just never know what you're going to find and what people are going to sell or get rid of. Um, and you just might score a great deal. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this haul. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, as it does support my channel. Um, we're on the road to 500 subscribers, and I do appreciate all your support. Um, follow me on TikTok at JediMike1138. Follow me on Instagram at FilmmakerMike. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. And until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye.